uh, the following are functions of blood right so we all know blood right blood is the fluid which is composed of cell a cellular part and a liquid part right the liquid part of blood being plasma and the cells of blood being red blood cells white blood cells and some fragments which are not cells called platelets right so now let's answer the question uh, the following are functions of blood a transport of oxygen this is very true uh, we know that we have red blood cells the red blood cells they have uh, hemoglobin hemoglobin which is a protein which carries what uh, the blood uh -huh. then moving on let's go to the next one uh, B transport of nutrients this is very true right we know that we eat food right the food goes into our GIT then from GIT it's absorbed uh, by the blood so that it can be distributed to the whole body and blood is the medium which carries this food right then C regulation of body temperature this is actually very true right because we know that um, our blood because of the pressure it has it regulates uh, the warmth of uh, the skin and also the coolness of the skin you remember from a level we talked about resp we talked about this cooling effect which happens when we dilate our blood vessels right because when we dilate our blood vessels we allow uh, for heat to be what to be lost from blood vessels to skin then when we constrict our blood vessels we kind of trap our chi, our blood then d is a reserve of water this is very true right we say that uh, our blood is a cellular component and a fluid component which we call plasma which is uh, 90 to 99 percent of what then e protection against disease this is true our blood is what uh, white blood cells which act to protect against what diseases mm -hmm. uh, are there any questions or should we move on are there any questions on this one i think this one was a bit simple for everyone any questions i think there are no questions let's move let's move we want to finish within an hour there are 20 stems so just going to try to run down and if you have any questions please do unmute and uh, ask the number two the following are constituents of blood erythrocytes this is true erythrocytes or red blood cells right then b hematopoietic stem cells this is false hematopoietic stem cells these are the precursors of every cell which you find in the blood right when I say precursors, I mean these are the ones which form the constitutions of what? Of blood. Blood is formed in the what? In the bone marrow. So the cells which are hematopoietic or pluripotent or the cells which have the ability to form any kind of cells are found in the bone marrow, right? Not in the blood. In the blood, we have... Um, cells which have committed to form a certain type of cell for example cells which have committed to form red blood cells cells which have committed to form white blood cells and so on right making uh, b false then fibrinogen is a constitute of blood this is very true fibrinogen is a clotting factor which is found in blood it helps in hemostasis right which prevents leakage of blood from blood vessels then d neutrophils this is true neutrophils form part of white blood cells then e platelets this is also true platelets are fragments right which uh, help in hemostasis again to prevent leaking of blood in blood vessels they are formed from megakaryocytes megakaryocytes right 
they are the precursors of what of um platelets or thrombocytes right they are just cell fragments which help uh in the impeding of blood flow so that we do not uh, have uh, excessive what leakage of blood from our blood vessels right so that's question number two are there any questions or should we move on i need some communication so that i know we are on the same page are there any questions guys or oh, it's all clear any questions oh let's move nice okay now i'll be a bit fast it seems as though people know their stuff so it seems as though people know their stuff so let's move um i'm admitting people a bit so sorry for the delay then number three the following are major hematopoietic growth factors so from the word hema right it means blood then poetic it means potential so hemo hemo poetic these are the growth factors right which help us in the formation of blood cells right and these um, growth factors include erythropoietin it's true erythropoietin helps us to form red blood cells interleukins this is true interleukins help us to form platelets right they help us to form what platelets there are some interleukins that help us to form platelets then see thrombopoietin this is actually very true thrombopoietin um it helps us in the lineage right which forms again platelets platelets are formed from uh megakaryocytes megakaryocytes are the precursors of what of platelets and for us to form megakaryocytes we need thrombopoietin right mm -hmm. then d stem cell factor this is very true stem cell factor works for a majority of the cells in the blood lineage which include even the platelets formation of platelets formation of uh, red blood cells and so on then intrinsic factor this is very false intrinsic factor um is found um it's like it's a transport protein right intrinsic factor is a transport protein which helps in the transport of vitamin b12 right transport of vitamin b12 from your git up until your what to your ileum right it is not a hematopoietic growth factor. It does not help us in making sure that we have the manufacturer of blood cells. Hmm. So that's number three. Are there any questions or we move on again? I think. Any questions? Uh, sorry, on. Yeah. On B, interleukins. Yes. yes. Uh, what was your answer again? My answer was true. Oh, it, it's okay. Yeah, we are we are clear on it being true, right? Yeah. Ah, nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. So let's move. Let's move. Yeah, they usually repeat questions, so let's make sure that we do as many questions as possible. Then number four concerning erythrocytes, which are red blood cells. Are in circulation for 120 days this is very true your our red blood cells are in circulation for 120 days after which they are broken down or they become old red blood cells so when they become old red blood cells we have to recycle them and we do this primarily in the spleen right which is also called the graveyard of what red blood cells so from there uh, we filter red blood cells so that we are only left with only red blood cells which are fit to carry oxygen so whenever our red blood cells have reached their limit or they have now reduced in capacity we kind of recycle them and form new red blood cells in our bone marrow so a is true old red 
old erythrocytes or old red blood cells are phagocytized by neutrophils. This is false. Erythrocytes, right, which are red blood cells, they are, yes, phagocytized, right, but they are phagocytized primarily in the what? In the spleen. And when they are phagocytized in the spleen, the part or the um, system in the spleen which is responsible for their breakdown is called the reticular endothelial system, which is formed from macrophages, right? Not uh, neutrophils. I hope that is clear. It is the macrophages which break down red blood cells, not the what? Uh, the neutrophils. Then going to see erythrocytes. Concerning erythrocytes, vitamin B12 is needed for their synthesis. This is very true. Vitamin B12 and folic acid or folate are necessary for their synthesis. That's why you see that um, some people, especially uh, pregnant women, take vitamin B12 supplements. Because of uh, pregnancy, there is, uh, usually, they usually have uh, a low, in terms of blood, they have few number of red blood cells so they take vitamin b12 supplements because vitamin b12 is necessary in the formation of what red blood cells then d uh fetal hemoglobin in erythrocytes has a higher affinity uh for oxygen this is very true right why is that so because we are saying that we have a mother who has her uh, fetus right in her womb and we see that the mother now is, she brings oxygenated blood to the baby. The oxygenated blood, as it comes, the fetal hemoglobin should have a higher affinity so as to take the oxygenated blood from the placenta to itself. So the affinity of the fetal hemoglobin is higher than that of the what? Of the mother. Mm -hmm. Then lack of iron in the diet causes low hemoglobin concentration. This is again true. Iron is necessary for the formation of what? Of hemoglobin, right? Iron forms part of uh, the, um, the residues of hemoglobin. Because you're saying that hemoglobin is formed one from the um, globular protein, right? And a heme group. The heme group now contains what? Iron. Iron in the form of what? Iron 2. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's it on concerning erythrocytes. I hope it's clear. Are there any questions or we should move on? Are there any questions? I think we are okay. Uh, let's move then. Number 5. Concerning anemia. So anemia in its simplest form, you're saying that uh, there is either uh, poor oxygen supply or a few number of red blood cells in circulation or a few um, in terms of the concentration now of the hemoglobin in red blood cells, it being few is another sign of what? Anemia. So now we're going for A. Occurs when hemoglobin concentration is less than 14 grams per 100 mils in meals. So we see that in meals, meals have a high number of um, red blood cells, which also includes their hemoglobin. Why? It's because males have high levels of testosterone as compared to what females. And testosterone is an androgen which is necessary for the formation of what? Red blood cells. So now, this value is actually very true because we are saying that um, the he normal hemoglobin concentration is around 13.5 grams per deciliter to 14 grams per deciliter. So when it's less than 14 grams per deciliter, we can say that one is what? Is anemic, right? In males. Then in females now, if they have a concentration which is less than 12.5 right, grams per deciliter or grams per 100 mils, 
we say that that female is what anemic in terms of their hemoglobin concentration because you know that hemoglobin is responsible for carrying what oxygen and we defined anemia is um when one has low partial pressure of what of oxygen right because when one has low partial pressure of oxygen to the cells one can die right because we need oxygen for what aerobic respiration right then c occurs when the fem hemoglobin concentration is less than nine grams per hundred mils or nine grams per deciliter in a pregnant woman this is actually very true because uh when comparing the three males have a higher normally they have a higher hemoglobin concentration as compared to females and pregnant females have less number of what of hemoglobin and uh red blood cells circulating why is that so because we are saying that one has a fetus and the fetus also has its oxygen demands so normally speaking a woman who is not pregnant and a woman who's pregnant a woman who's who is pregnant has a lower concentration of what hemoglobin and if one has less than nine grams per hundred mules that woman is said to be what anemic it's below the normal range right then d uh, can be caused by bone marrow failure due to toxic drugs or cancer this is again true right because we are saying that uh, some to toxic drugs or cancer they um they stop the production of red blood cells how some of uh, the cancers or some of the drugs they go and disturb hematopoiesis in the bone marrow for example there is a or it's, it's not necessary though to know but i'm just giving you an example for example we have a blood cancer called uh, multiple myeloma which affects uh, the production of certain types of cells in what in the bone marrow so when they get over crowded in the bone marrow those cells they stop now other cells from being produced which include red blood cells white blood cells and so on right mm -hmm. then uh, e can okay when there is inadequate secretion of erythropoietin this is true we say that erythropoietin is necessary from the formation of what red blood cells right it is um a let's call it a hormone which induces the erythroid lineage or the formation of red blood cells all right mm -hmm. are there any questions on number five before we move on are there any questions are we all good on number five yes you can talk takuzwa Yes, Takuzwa, I saw your hand raising up, raised up. Okay, ah, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, let's move on. Because I, I want us to finish within an hour. We should be done. Because I also was supposed to have another session.